Oh my, thank you. Oh my God, thank you. Guys, that, listen, I don't have a lot of time. It don't, listen, it's not, first of all, it's gonna be very disappointing, so you should know that, okay? I literally just ate, so I couldn't possibly care about you right now. And yeah, I'll just summarize, this is how disappointing this set's gonna be for you. It's gonna feel like the first time you saw the real Wendy in that Wendy's commercial. <laughs> when Wendy revealed herself after all these years. <laughs> that feeling. <laughs> it's me, Wendy. <laughs> With the pigtails, Wendy? Yeah, that Wendy. <laughs> you might admit she was on for one week, poor Wendy. And then they replaced her with a hotter, younger Wendy. Because a PR person was like, we gotta fix this now. <laughs> that's her company. And then now their slogan is, now that's better. Now that they gotta. <laughs> Let me just gauge how, how dirty I could be in this crowd. What's the worst curse word to say that you should never say, no matter how mad you are? It's HBO, so you just say it. What's the worst, the worst curse? Cunt. That's it, cunt, yeah. <laughs> that's exactly right. That's the one my mom told me. Yeah. <laughs> But just here though, like if you go to England, that's like their aloha, they don't, they don't care. <laughs> but here, if you guys are a couple and I call her that, you gotta fight me. You understand that? Them's fighting words, right? Yeah, it's the worst word. But if I call you a dick right now, she doesn't have to do shit. I can call you a dick all day and on regular TV, not even HBO TV. <laughs> I just call you a dick. That's the same insult as cunt. You are genitals, how is that a different insult? It's the same thing, but cunt is so much worse, right? And why, why is that? I'll tell you why. Because uh, dick is also a nickname, so there you go. <laughs> it comes down to that much. Could be Richard, that's all, right? Oh, he's like, I'm Catherine, but call me cunt. <laughs> what? I call you Kathy? Kathy, that's my mom's name. <laughs> I'm cunt. I said cunt like 50 times. Liz, can I tell you about a book I just read that changed my life? Let's be positive. It's called Mountain, Get Out of My Way by Montel Williams. Have you had a chance to read that? It's from, 19, it's from 1996, it's an older book. But the reason I bring it up, it's one cent on amazon.com right now. It's one pet, go on Amazon, Mountain, one penny. You know, did you see what Montel has to say? For one cent. Well, guess what, Hotshot? You can't even get a copy, because I bought every remaining copy for $50. I have 5,000 copies of Mountain Get Out of My Way right now. I don't know what, I don't, that's too many. I just stacked him into a mountain in front of my roommate's door, so he can't get in his room. He doesn't, he doesn't like that at all. Like, how am I supposed to get around this, Kurt? The answer's right in your hand, dude. I can't <laughs> do all of it for you. Open it up, let Montel, Montel you, right? <laughs> yeah, my room, I said to my roommate Steve, doesn't that sound gay? My roommate Steve, just the sentence. Is, I mean, we're not gay. I wish I could hold my head up high and say that's the situation, but just a 36 year old man that has to have a roommate and doesn't have health insurance, that's, it's sad but it sounds gay. My roommate, Steve, that sounds like the title of a children's book to teach kids about gayness, doesn't it? My roommate, Steve. Sometimes Uncle Kirk comes over with his roommate, Steve. They press lips like mommies and daddies. You have gay marriage here, right? Yeah, we just struck down the law that prevented it. Uh, DOMA, it was called, the Defensive Marriage Act. But we got rid of that, you know? So maybe gays will be able to get married. Is that nice? Yeah. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't think that. I don't, I don't applaud that. You could applaud that. I'm not into that. Um, yeah, I know. Everybody's like, who does it hurt, right? That's your little argument for it. Who's being hurt, right? Well, I'll explain it to you. you it's gonna be hard for you to get as a Canadian, kind of. But we have uh, a constitution in America Okay? That God basically gave us. And we're gonna lose his protection with that shit because that's part of the 
like you're gonna use your holes right is part of the, the contract that we have. So, you know, that's what God does. He watches your holes like most of the day. Most of his day, he's watching the, the creator of the infinite universe that made galaxies and planets and, and star. He doesn't look at none of that shit. He looks at your asshole <laughs> with like a, like a jeweler loop. <laughs> That's not how I said to do that. You just voided the warranty, buddy. I hope you're happy. I'm not fixing that for you. <laughs> do you understand how dangerous it is? Like, let's say you're a good Christian. You and his good, live in a heterosexual Christian life, right? We live next door. And you just read your Bible and slay pussy like God commanded, basically. <laughs> right? Just crushing ass, reading the Bible. And then I'm next door to you, just getting my asshole wailed on day after day. And you just hear it bang on the wall as you try to read from Paul's letter to the Corinthians. You hear, oh, oh, slurping noise. When God sends his fire down, we're both dead. Do you understand? I don't want to be collateral damage in God's homo drone strike. And I don't think I'm out of line. Guys, you were about the Boston Marathon bombing, right? Yeah, they got that news. Were you, were you guys like me, when you read the names of those bombers, were you like, oh my God, dinosaurs did this to us? Are you serious? Dokersaurus Triceratops and his brother, Tambourine Triceratops, came to this country <laughs> with our own pressure cookers. All right, you guys are really great. Thank you so much.